Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Also, click the link below to get your free AI resource. The resource is free. If you do get the resource, you will get the opportunity to participate in a new course I've put together called Pivot Your Career to an AI Safe Career. And as part of the beta group, it's totally free. I'm only gonna take five people. And you get the whole program for free that's normally $4.97, and I walk you through the whole program. Check it out right now, and please join the beta group. I really appreciate it. So, a lot of different news out of the car industry today. The American car industry is going to completely change, and the same goes for much of the Western world, at least. Let's roll through five different press releases real quickly, and then we'll talk about what it all means. So the first one is from Nissan. Nissan plans to build 50% electric vehicles by 2030, so half of the vehicles that Nissan will be selling to consumers in less than 10 years will be all electric. And that is typical of what's going on with the major car makers. We've seen other car makers also say, Ford, GM, others, that their huge fleets are going to go half electric by 2030 and all electric more or less by 2040. Unveiling its new long-term plan, Nissan said it will launch 23 new models, including 15 all-electric and 8 hybrid electric vehicles. Last year, only 10% of Nissan sales were EVs or hybrids, so this is a complete business model change, and the other majors are lining up on this one. This is going global. Next release, GM said on Tuesday it would install up to 40,000 electric, electric vehicle charging stations in the U.S. and Canada as part of the car company's 750 million commitment to bolster electric vehicles. So there are not common chargers between these electric vehicles. Tesla has a proprietary adapter for charging. I don't know if all of the other companies are going to do that, uh, or at some point soon there'll be commonality between some of the brands. Hard to say. But this is the second article that basically says GM is going all electric over 20 years. Nissan is going over all electric over 20 years. All of the major car companies are moving to electric. Why? to eliminate fossil fuels because burning fossil fuels is altering our environment. <laughs> that is crystal clear by the science. Um, then uh, article number three, Ford, uh, and this goes to pandemic-related problems. Ford is going to insource some of its chip supply because they uh, they and other car makers have had to not complete building millions of cars this year because they didn't have the chips, because of the chip shortage. So this is going to be addressed. This means that a lot of chip plants are going to be built here in the U.S. I think there was a separate article that I'm not talking about today about a new chip plant in Texas to support Tesla's new Giga factory. Um, actually, it was the new Tesla G1 chip. <laughs> so yeah, so this is all the majors are going to start insourcing critical components instead of relying on a global supply chain that can clearly be disrupted now. Uh, so that's Ford. Then Qualcomm diversifying from mobile phones to supply chips for BMW self-driving cars. So every major car brand is looking for a chip supplier. Qualcomm is a U.S. company. BMW now builds quite a few of its vehicles here in the U.S. Obviously, they still build in Europe, too, and probably China. I'm not sure about that. I don't follow BMW that closely. 
that way just as it relates to uh, self-driving AI and chips, but Qualcomm jumping in for BMW and Tesla just invented their own chip and GM, that other article, is working with Intel uh, to insource their chips inside the states. This is not just cars that this is going on in. <laughs> Caterpillar is leading the way to zero emission construction vehicles. This is bulldozers, uh, backhoes, uh, huge, the huge dump trucks for mining and stuff, all electric, going all electric, and they're partnering with Rio Tinto, which is one of the biggest mining companies in the world, to complete development of these and then start rolling them out globally. So what does this all mean? Well, it means a few things. First of all, the world is going electric. And clearly, electricity currently today primarily requires fossil fuels to generate electricity. However, we've talked about the fact that much of electricity will be generated by renewable resources in the future, make that local uh, solar farms with local battery packs from uh, Tesla and um, huge wind farms are being licensed and starting construction all over the globe. And so there will be a gradual switch. This will take longer, probably 30 years, from generating electricity with fossil fuels to generating it mostly uh, with renewables or nuclear. And there's a bunch of nuclear stuff going on. I'm not going to talk about that today, but there's a ton of stuff going on with nuclear power, which is zero emission. So if the power source changes, then all these electric fleets really go carbon free. So this is huge. It's huge over the next 20 to 30 years uh, because the amount of fossil fuels being burned is only going to grow as things stand today. Why? Because the Chinese economy continues to grow pretty quickly when it's not in lockdown mode due to COVID. Uh, similarly, India's economy is growing very, very fast. Again, the fastest in the world at the moment. And, um, <clears throat> sorry, allergies. Sub-Saharan Africa is the last major untapped manufacturing zone in the world. Cheap labor. It's going to happen. It's going to happen in the next 10 years. Uh, Africa is going to be blanketed with manufacturing plants. So they're going to start burning way, way more fuel. And this will uh, be enhanced by infrastructure rollout all over sub-Saharan Africa too. So in the big picture of things, all facilitated by AI, by the way, these huge renewable generation facilities are going to use AI to route power to the grid and AI to manage the battery storage, when to store power and when to release power. And of course, all these electric vehicles are going self-driving, all of them. And those are all going to use AI to self-drive. So as we get to 2040, the world will be profoundly different in less than 20 years. Um, gas stations will be rapidly disappearing. Parking garages will be rapidly disappearing because people will not privately own cars 20 years from now. They're going, it's all going to be ride share and it's going to be everywhere and instantaneous. So this is the stars lining up to fundamentally change the auto industry, the power generation industry, and society as a whole. 
This is why I started the AI Guide, because everything I just talked about is not really visible yet. There, there's no full self-driving with no drivers, basically. There's a little bit of road testing going on, but there's almost all self-driving trucks and cars right now still have a safety driver. I think in Phoenix, they have a fully autonomous vehicle running on the streets in the city of Phoenix, um, but it's very limited right now. That's all gonna switch over to no safety drivers. Once the algorithms get millions and millions of miles, it won't need safety drivers. So I started the AI Guide to prepare young people for what's coming because careers are gonna change. Many, many careers that exist today will go away. In parallel, there will be many careers that are opened up by a slew of new technologies, not just AI, not just self-driving, not a smart grid, uh, changing power generation, the whole thing, but also VR, AR, healthcare is going to change completely. Almost no industry will be left untouched. So my goal here is to prepare you now psychologically for this change and to help you pivot from a career that's subject to automation to one that is much less subject to automation. And that's why I created the course. That's why I'm looking for beta people to uh, go through the course now totally for free, uh, give us feedback, and then it's gonna be 497. And it's going to be a soup to nuts, change your career uh, opportunity for people who participate in this, take you through the whole thing by the hand changing your career. No one's doing quite what we're gonna be doing right now. Uh, there's other people doing certain aspects, but nobody's going, is right now is doing the whole thing that we're gonna be doing. So jump into the beta program, click the link below, get your free resource. That'll lead you to the beta program. Um, Separately, get my book on Amazon, read about AI, read about 10 industries already being significantly changed by AI, and stay tuned because I'm going to continue to talk about industries being impacted by AI and all of the technologies around AI, and automotive was today, but it's every industry. Thanks a lot. Take care.